Richard is the title character in the PSN platformer by Recoil Games. As a space miner, he's a hard-working guy. Like other members of his respectively rough profession, he uses the utilitarian tools of the trade to overcome the hazards and obstacles of a game world. In this case, that means a gravity gun and an all-purpose blaster. Is this physics-based, puzzle-heavy job worth reporting for? Damn, another negative pole coil. As part of a small mining crew searching for a rare but valuable mineral, the game starts off slowly as you're introduced to the basic business of moving around and tweaking gravity to allow for super-powered jumps and obstacle manipulation. You'll also learn about various types of force fields. Some fields won't let organic matter pass through, others might block metal boxes. Learning what color does what plays a big part in the puzzle-heavy gameplay. Things don't stay quiet for long, though. Hostile forces soon enter the picture and force you to engage in combat. The crushing, shooting, or blowing up of enemies is necessary in order to progress through the game's fairly linear track. Rochard is as much an action game as a puzzle-heavy platformer. The switch-ups keep the game from getting boring, but in its attempt to do double duty, it forces on itself some compromises. Despite a number of smart and memorable moments, parts of the game feel like filler. Rochard's loose combat is only truly fun when accompanied by a good environmental setup, and you'll use the same simple solution so frequently that you'll sometimes feel like you're doing busy work in between the more inspired puzzles. The game is also somewhat inconsistent in the way it rewards you. Increasing your maximum health, which regenerates anyway, or powering up your rock blaster with no real visual effect just doesn't feel very rewarding. The game also holds back on some of its more enjoyable mechanics, such as gravity-powered swinging, until late in the game. <laughs> Rochard has a fair number of idiosyncrasies, including its off-key attempt at southern, blue-collar humor. But its heart is in the right place. It's not on point 100% of the time, and it doesn't concern itself with optional modes or bonus content, but you'll mine more fun than frustration from this endeavor. Spending 10 bucks to spend a few hours toying with gravity guns and explosives isn't really such a bad deal. Oh,